Hey filmmaker, Shungna here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print onto a foam windshield. It's a trade secret that is uh, kept secret for quite a long time, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's very, very simple. The reason why you want to print onto a foam windshield is that you don't want to haul around a big microphone flag. This is going to take a lot of space. It's not collapsible and it's just really, really huge to put into your backpack. It will take up space and you could have actually take more things with you like an extra lens, extra light or extra batteries while this uh, is just taking up space and it is just only for the looks that you really have to carry this. Well, this is directly on your uh, microphone and actually I've tried different methods of actually printing onto a microphone and finally found a good one because on the back here there is a method trying to do with silk, uh, silk screening however because uh, the microphone windshield is basically a sponge and it will uh, absorb the ink and it will not get a really nice uh, thick layer onto it and it will just also like uh, because it gets absorbed it will not get really sh a sharp edge to it but the thing is I found a new method so this one you can see the edge is much more clearer the design is much better and it's basically a different method of adding the it onto it so the big secret what you actually need to print on it it's very easy it's just a t-shirt transfer uh, you do need to look at a good quality t-shirt transfer because you need to um, get one that is more of a rubber because there are certain cheap ones that are from paper and if you wash uh, your t-shirt uh, one time it will just uh, wash away the entire design. So this one from Decadry is really a good one because it's from a rubber. So you can literally, uh, yeah, when you cut a piece off, you can stretch it. So it sticks onto your shirt very well. Plus also it has a very low uh, temperature that it actually melts. So you can actually melt it onto the foam fairly easily. So let's go to the process of making it. So first we print out our design, then we cut it out and actually just fairly easily put onto the microphone foam. Uh, we recommend to put the foam already onto the microphone so it's already st stretched into the form and then just put the logo on top of it and then use the special transfer paper and then just use a simple iron to iron the transfer over onto the microphone. So that was literally the first time I made it and literally is this one that I made. The end result is pretty nice, but the end is a little bit out of place. Uh, it's basically because it's all these individual parts loose from each other. You can avoid it by uh, printing one entire logo and then sticking it onto it in one go but i found a method that is actually making doing or doing these much easier the thing you need is a very simple method it's literally gluing this logo onto the special transfer paper and the glue that you need is a uh, non-strong glue. So there is like a, a glue stick that you can use uh, that isn't that really strong. So you can glue this on there. And when you finish with uh, transferring over uh, to the foam, it will uh, stick onto the foam itself and then you can easily remove the piece of paper. And the other method is maybe using photo glue, try directly trying to glue it on here and then use the transfer. But I find the method with the glue stick, maybe that will be easier and also cleaner because the glue stick doesn't leave too much residue. So that was mainly it, how to make this. Uh, it's a very simple method. So if you 
are a uh, singer and have your own mic this is maybe even pretty cool to have your own logo onto your own microphone and perform with your own foam or actually literally make your own foam and just uh, carry this little thing around and when you have to perform you can just pop it onto a microphone and uh, yeah for a lot of reporters and tv stations this is really something easy to make on your own and you don't have to spend like 100 bucks for a company to make it for you so this is the easy method of making your own uh, logo onto your foam windshield one extra thing i want to talk about is buying a white foam uh, this is a white foam windshield it's maybe in this video it looks nice but in real life when i look at it it's slightly yellowish it's not uh, really white so i advise if you want to use a white one don't use a white one because probably this is not even uh, the final thing because probably they are going to just dump this into a colored uh, vat and color it so this white version if you want to have like your own colored uh, foam you can either just buy one in the special color that you want or you can get this one and just uh, throw it into uh, colorings to color this but I recommend just buying the right color and white version. Yeah, it is nice and white for certain companies, but it's not really, really white if you want to buy it. So that was mainly it, how to print onto your microphone windshield. So if you want to see more upcoming videos with a lot of nice tutorials and tips, please subscribe and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.